you see this? Well, they see Stargus. <laughs> Look what happened. Dream for a long time. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, it's empty. Yeah, it's it's cool because it's like if you're deadlifting, that's the sticking point right there. Yep. So it actually makes you strong in that sticking point. Yeah, it's like the eight deadlifts. Yeah. It's real good, yeah. Yeah, so we'll do this, we'll do the pose. Um, this is all strongman stuff, like this is not a... You can do a... Uh, what are those called? Simulated car deadlift. Simulated car deadlift, yeah. so... This is not your typical gym. This is not LA Fitness, this is not... You know, when, uh, when I first got out in 2013, I actually opened Alpha Omega Fitness and He's got, he's got a tattoo right there. He got a tattoo. I got a tattoo. You know, only a couple guys have it. Well, more guys have it now, but uh, it was my first gym that I opened. And when I came home, I wanted to start almost like I guess you could say a fitness revolution because there were no strongman gyms at the time operating here in Phoenix. So I had read about them in prison and and just seen a bunch of you know magazines and articles how it was going to be a new trend and. And all this shit. So I came home and I, I met Ralph, and we started making those concrete blocks. Those, what are those things called? That are like, not that the stones, but the other ones that you carry, like. Uh, Who's the bell stone? Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, man. Like, look at what it turned into. Actually, now these guys are full. How many members do you have here? And it's a private gym, actually. Yeah, over 30. Yeah. But most of them could be strong man comps with Arizona's strongest man with so, the winners you know, and the competitors. They got to where it needed to get. That's all it is, man. It's got to start. What do they say? You build it and don't come, right? Ah. to do that or four or five that's gonna back up empty when yes you're so one time I was at the gym yes. I was benching and I had four or five on there and there was these fucking douchebags <laughs> on their phones and he was talking and he backed into my bar as I had four or five on there after I tell him like hey back up a minute you know he's benching here and you know, hold. those are my days where I was still operating like a felon <laughs> so I got up yeah. You got up fast. <laughs> Holy shit. You wanna do you wanna try that one? Hey, right, so tell tell them pretty much this gym. It's private, I know all that. Look at his shins, dude. If those are not fucking deadlifting shins, I don't know what the fuck is, bro. <laughs> For real. I was looking at them and I was like, is that a disease or is that fucking, you know, shin shin scrapes? Yes, we're uh we're, we're a private facility. Um uh, Ralph, uh, Ralph and Amy, they're the owners, and uh, they've had it for, you know, ever since they met, met JC. Um, you know, 24 hours a day, you know, come in and train. Um, we have anybody, you know, we've had pro strongmen in here, you know, strong women. We have, we post numerous uh, comps during the year. Um, 
Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's you know we're a great group of guys here and, and ladies. You know everybody gels. There's no you know you don't have your you don't have your Jimmy head here. You have a lot of good guys. They know each other. They support each other. Um, I, when I was in my comp, you know, this past February, we had here um, all support from the guys that train here. My family was here. JC even showed up, and we, we had a pretty packed house. And we put on a good show. Um, every year, I mean, everybody, you know, everybody's coming here training. Everybody has a misconception, though, that strongman is is only for for men. And I've seen a lot of women absolutely training not. here. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely not. And uh, I mean, we we, had, we women from Utah came down. California came in. You know, uh, they just a couple came in beforehand, trained with us, and and, and they love it. You know, it's uh, and they do highly games and beach strongman everywhere. Like, if we get guys that come in, we bring somebody down. Don't do what I do. If you yeah. can only do four or five in a deadlift, don't do 600 like we're doing or, yeah. or whatever. Because you know, there's somebody doing more than me, there's somebody doing less than me. Um, if you can only do 300, do 300. You know? If you can only do 150 on the Atlas Stones, don't do the 300. You know, just don't don't get. I've had many friends. I said, hey, come on down, come on down. I'll beat her. They never show up. Yeah. It sucks. I mean, it's, it's great. It's a great facility. I mean, yeah. you can't go wrong. It's a good place, but like I said, it's. It's located right in downtown Phoenix, but it's actually private. If you're from out of town and you're gonna come in and you wanna train here, you would probably have to make some calls to talk to Ralph and, and his wife to see yeah. if they would let you come in and train because it's actually private and there's a lot of serious strongman guys training here. So, you know, uh, thank God on me, you know, I get the open door policy for me. <laughs> <laughs> this is my wife. She pisses me off. Yeah, there's these loadable dumbbells. You can put 25, you can load them up to two, three hundred pounds. I'm gonna be done by the time he gets here. He's gonna have to do the rest of the shit by himself. How old are you? 41. Another master's getting the strong man next year. Come on. There you go, there you go. Push it over, push it over. Shit! Oh, That's a big bitch. Shit. Come on, drive. Stay with, stay with. There you go. There you go. Get that big bitch right off you. Right, drive the legs. Drive the legs. Come on. Oh, you better open her legs up. Ah, there it is. You better sit on it. Woo! Shit, fight. <laughs> <laughs> Ran a muscle. There you go. Let's go. There you go. There you go. Stay with it. Stay with it. Stay with it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Take those legs. Come on. Woo! It's like this. It's a scary feeling when it starts coming back towards you. That bitch is like. I told you I'm 390. <laughs> Yeah, damn. One thing for sure, you don't see. There ain't no motherfucking bodybuilder masking in black doing this shit. No. <laughs> you don't do this shit, right? No, it's pick. Oh, like nothing. <coughs> Alright, can he press? <laughs> when you got shitty form, you can do anything. <laughs> that shitty form, you can go to get anything out of the way. So, when I got out in 2013, uh, I uh, I opened up actually Alpha Omega Fitness. It was it was this. Okay. They just they made it bigger. Uh, 
Ralph and his uh, wife took over after I went back in, but uh -huh. this was my baby. Actually, I have it tattooed on me. That's crazy. So uh, he's got in the back of his leg. He was one of the first members, but uh, they didn't have strong man out here. But I had been re reading about it in prison, and I was like, yo, I want to come out with something different, something totally that nobody's doing out there. And I came out and I opened it. I opened it up in a year that so I was out. I, I opened it up, and then they took over. So oh, yeah. you know, there's a lot of love in this place. Yeah. And, and, and the building that you had, when we, we redid the back, the, yeah. we cemented the back, yeah, and, we, you know, everything. We, we would go in there, it was a house, we turned it into a gym. Wow. So, yeah, I lived it's... in that bitch for six months. That's... This shit is crazy. The purple room? It was haunted. The purple room? It was in a, hey, it was an abortion clinic. Was it? In the 60s, that shit was haunted. When I would be sleeping that night, I swear, nobody believed me. I used to hear the little kids laughing. Damn. And they used to knock on the door and then run. I believe that shit. Yeah, you do enough for that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Different ball game. Whole different ball game. We should have been at this motherfucker 6 30 in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Four o'clock. Yeah. It was hot, but it was warm. No, but I wanted, I wanted to prove something. It's 104 degrees. And yeah, you're it's right. 104 degrees. No, it's no. 104 degrees. 114. It's 114. It's 114. 114. Oh, okay. That's why it was in the morning then. Yeah, we it's are. It's 114. Yeah. Yeah. Right. No wonder my <laughs> food wasn't working. <laughs> Yep. Hold it up. Well, I 
head ball loop. Yep, and walk out. Bring up to the left. Turn it over. Wait a minute. This ain't no joke. Over the top. Over the top. No, 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 no. Nope. Hands over the top. Over the top. Yeah. I'll head over. I'll have to train for like two years. This ain't like, you know how sometimes we don't feel like working out, you still go and, and you go, and you can just of, do a little you go through the through the motions. Yeah. This, you you have to come back to the not, you're, you're gonna hurt uh, yourself. <laughs> Private gym, private gym. So it's in downtown Phoenix. Yeah. But like he said, challenge anybody that think this shit is easy to do it. Yep. And do it in 114 degree weather. Yep. 